welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I'm Jen, and today's video, we just have a lot of different things going on right now. I just wanna show you a few of them, and then we have one project that we've really been needing to do for a while, and finally getting that done today. Uh, I'll show you guys about that in just a bit. I'll show you the garden first. We'll talk about some things going on in there. Uh, okay, so another thing I wanted to show you guys is these three raised beds. I talked about them a little bit before. Things are just on fire, like growing at an insane rate. I've never seen anything grow so fast. We've got onions that are all already huge. I just needed some radishes the other day and those are already growing really quick. This chard is probably only a month old. I put in the transplants just a couple weeks ago and it's already mature and huge. Got a ground cherry plant in here that's just doing just doing awesome. Carrots that are just huge already. Beets, these guys are almost ready to go. And some calendula. The first calendula are just about to bloom. Look at that. So close, baby calendula. So close. I've got this little herb garden over here that's doing really well. Chives. Everything's doing great over here. You guys scare the horses. So weirdo. Why are you so weird? Why are you so weird? I just witnessed the sweetest little moment, guys. So cute. So uh, since we put in these cattle panel trellises, we've had a lot of birds visiting the garden. They like to perch up on the trellises and look for worms and things to eat. I saw one of them flying around with a little green caterpillar in its mouth. I see this little bird carrying it and he, he comes on over to another bird and he just gives her his caterpillar so cute he just feeds his little his little girlfriend or his partner or whoever the quinoa in here is beginning to form seed heads so that's pretty cool i'm excited about that and then we've got lots of little tomatoes forming too that little guy and then over here all the bean seeds around the bean teepee are coming up. Don't you think potato flowers are seriously underrated? Look at this. It's so gorgeous. I'd plant them just for the flowers, but I love potatoes, so gotta plant them for the potatoes too. So let us run away as fast as we can No looking back, I'll hold your hand Cause we're free To be all that we can be No one stopping us by This hygge culture bed, guys It is thriving Kale loves life Summer squash is doing beautifully. I'm just so excited about it. I had kind of had poor expectations for this year. And check out the little cucumbers. See the barn in the background? Guys, the roof is almost done. We're almost done with replacing the barn roof. That's a huge feet for us.
that back there? That's what really needed to be done. This whole area right here, really overgrown. We really needed to brush hog it. And unfortunately, although you see that awesome tractor and brush hog, that's actually not ours. So trying to get it, trying to get it done is always a little stressful. But you know what? We're really, really grateful for some amazing neighbors that loan us their tractor and brush hog whenever we need it, which is normally at least two or three times a year because we have all of this pasture. We have these trails back here. We have 12 acres to take care of, guys, and it's kind of a lot. We don't have all the equipment we need. We don't have a tractor. We don't have, you know, a trailer or a hay elevator, but we have awesome neighbors and we have a community of people that we can lean on and uh, reach out to. So it's a huge blessing for sure. You know what else is a big blessing? Blackberries. Look at these little guys. How's it going? It's going. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's not really perfectly clear, but it's pretty muddy still. I noticed, actually. So unusual for this time of year. So it still makes me a little nervous with the tractor back here. Yeah. I don't want to get stuck. What is all this? Lots of blackberries. Lots of blackberries. Lots of wild grape. Look at the trees. They're so pretty, these trees. I know, I like this one right here. Oh yeah, what is that one? Does anyone know what this is? Some kind of... Lots of wild rose. Lots of poison ivy. Huh, what's this guy? It's interesting. Huh. Curious what this is. I think it's some kind of berry bush. It might be ras wild raspberry. Here. Yeah, this is it right here again too. Anybody know what this is right here? This plant? I wonder if it's some kind of wild raspberry. Certainly looks like raspberry. Huh, and what's... What's this guy? It's putting off lots of little berries. This little guy? You wanna know what this is? It's these little berries. Wild roses. They're pretty. What is this? Anybody know what this tree is? It's got a fruit on it. Another fruit. Now we're in the back. And we've got some more woods. <laughs> Growing up on their own. Over there. Ooh, this thing smells bad. What does that smell? I don't know. Here we are. Guys, what is this tree? You see, it's got a little fruit on it. What is it? Any ideas? It was kind of like a cherry tree. Could be a wild cherry tree. There's tons of fruit on it. I think this is a cherry tree, guys. It certainly looks like the leaves of a cherry tree. It's got a little fruit. It's our wild apple tree, the little apple. It's got a lot of apples on it. Yeah, a lot of them have different bugs on them. 